Welcome to the Thomson Reuters Idea of the Week and Alpha Now. I'm John Cozy. Sometimes the adage, sell in May and go away, may seem appealing, but there may be good reasons to consider staying in U.S. stocks during the seasonally weak period of May through October. Even though the November to April period has posted stronger returns, here's why you might want to think twice before selling. Reason number one is the past 13 years. Using Thomson Reuters QA Studio for backtesting, we found a million dollars invested in the year 2000 dropped to 774,000 by the end of October 2012. But take out the big down years in 2002 and 2008 and a million becomes 1.4 million. So there must be opportunity around. This table shows certain sectors have done better, namely the more defensive consumer staples, healthcare, and utilities. They've actually produced positive results in the six month period May through October. Reason number two not to sell is that volatility provides opportunity. Short sellers had a holiday in 2002 and 2008, as well as double digit moves in some sectors in 2011. The longs saw 2003 and 2009 as strong years. Plus, information technology and telecommunication services did very well in 2010 and 2012, as well as other sectors in other years. Reason number three, overbought doesn't mean overvalued. The current forward 12 month PE ratio of 13.8 may be over the five year median of 12.7 but still remains below the long-term average of 15. And reason number four, don't fight the central banks. With the global economy still on the mend, there's no strong evidence the central banks will take their feet off the easy money gas pedal, especially in light of recent weaker US economic data. Even 10-year treasuries dropped from a 2% yield to under 1.7%, a possible sign of economic fragility and continued Fed quantitative easing. Thanks for watching. I'm John Cozy.